And welcome to today's Wednesday webinar. It is Wednesday, November 29th, the fifth Wednesday of the month. So the Blue Moon Special, um, <laughs> which <laughs> yeah, laughing because uh, we love it. And, you know, it's also funny because the first time that or I think for the first couple of months that I posted Blue Moon Specials, I was using a beautiful moon graphic from the, the <laughs> And then one of my colleagues said, hey, you know, that's a beer logo. I'm like, oh, no, I didn't know because I am <laughs> too cheap a date to know beers. <laughs> and so, so um, yeah, we've now corrected that. But um, I don't have the logo up at all because we want to jump right into the volunteer toolkit and the cool updates that happened. So those of you mm -hmm. who are new to the volunteer toolkit, you know, you go to the Girl Scouts of Maine website and then click over here where it says My GS BTK. Click on that and you will log in with your um, My GS login and then select volunteer toolkit and it will take you to your troop. And I, oh, look at it, it took me right to the Brownie troop. Usually it takes me to the cadet troop, which doesn't really have me it too. in it right now. I always yeah. get into the cadet troop as well. Well, I think the cadet troop, oh, I was going to say it was number one, but it's not. It's and it's not alphabetical. Why does it do the cadet troop first? That's weird. I don't know. It seems like it's it the Navy troop at the top. I don't know. <laughs> well, it, it must be the order that Suzanne added us to them. I don't know. Because was last. I have no idea. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> one of those things <laughs> most of you won't have to worry about because most of you will only have your one or two actual troops instead of these demo troops that we have. But I like the brownie one because the brownie troop has lots of stuff in it. And so we're yeah. able to show off some of the fancy stuff. Now, Kate McCarthy is on the line with us here. And Tammy Fisher is in the room as well. And... Mm -hmm. um, Kate is really the BTK aficionado here at Girl Scouts of Maine. So, <laughs> so we're going to go through and look at some of the updates. And um, was there new stuff or was it really just tweaking, fixing, and updating? It's a lot of fixing. So for the most part, um, the new stuff all came in over the summer with the new program. Mm -hmm. But they have fixed a lot of bugs. I know people had had some issues with dragging and dropping and that kind of thing and a lot of that has been cleaned up so awesome so when you're yeah. talking about dragging and dropping you're talking about like changing the order of meetings like if i wanted right. to um move let's let's move these letter boxers uh, i wouldn't want to move those up i want to move this first aid one though because where is the two i know that first aid two is here somewhere i can just keep <laughs> dragging it up come on mm -hmm. there it is there it is oh wait there it is and put it right here before <laughs> um, first aid two and it yeah. will stay. And I don't know if anybody was, if anybody watched the one where I dragged first aid one into place, it was torture. And, <laughs> and still first aid one is behind first aid two. Now they're fixed um, because it wasn't letting me drag anything up. And look at how we've got first aid one in two places. Well, oh, that's something we can do too that I don't know that we could do before. Now, when you click on the calendar on the date, it opens up mm -hmm. this cool thing. And I can go back and say, we never held that meeting. Let's delete that because we don't want that there. Yep. And we have first aid one later, which I think that is fabulous. And I have two yes. first aid twos. Let me get rid of one of those too. <laughs> Deleting meetings, deleting meetings. Um, and let's see if it moved up the meeting after it. It did not. So look at, we have a December 19th meeting that we can plug something else into. Cool. Mm -hmm. or maybe we'll go yep. to Nutcracker on the 19th. Um, <laughs> I love going to the Nutcracker with Girl Scouts. It's uh, I enjoyed going to the Nutcracker without Girl Scouts when my kids were in it, but it's so fun taking people to the ballet who've not been to the ballet very often um, or ever and letting them see the show and, and the tree growing and all of that, the rats fighting. There's so much fun. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> it's so exciting. Um, and I only weep a little bit now when I see it, you know, longing, but, um, so that the drag and drop, a great tweak that they fixed, and that's wonderful. What are some other things that they fixed, Kate? Oh, so many things. <laughs> I think they had a list of about 60 different enhancements, but you just showed the delete in the, so they call it the year plan calendar widget. Oh, nice. um, so now we can delete meetings directly from the year plan tab um, and change dates of past meetings. Right. If we need to go back to edit those. Can we? So say I wanted to change the date of this one. Yeah. So if, yep. 
right there, you're supposed to, do you see that change meeting date and time? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you should be able to edit it. Um, yeah, should be, but can't. I think you have to click the date back. What do you mean? Um, like if this meeting was originally scheduled, was originally scheduled on. It was originally scheduled on October 24th, but I want to say we did it on the 31st instead of the 24th. But yeah, it, can you try clicking? It the, doesn't. Let me go back. Change date and time. Mm -hmm. It should do it. Let's see if I click something else and then I go back here. Nope. So huh. select a new date. Well, you know? So maybe if it didn't happen and instead of deleting it, I wanted to move it into the future, maybe it would let me do that. But, yeah. but I, I, at this rate, they might just be saying, deal yeah. with it. You know you did both of those meetings and <laughs> they're not in the right well, can you do, if you Can you click on the calendar piece again? Um, this? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then... See more calendar options. Yeah, that took me to this. Right. Um, and then. And then if I click that, it takes me to this where it, it doesn't let me go backwards. Hmm. You know, well, we'll look into it more. Yeah. Um, um, if that's the only thing it doesn't let me do, that's OK, because there are yeah. some awesome things that it does let me do now that it <laughs> Um, yep. Like our resources tab. Is, is there anything else on this page that you'd like to highlight? If you, in the year plan library, mm -hmm. um, so if you go up and go to the year plan, yep, and just the library. Oh, right here. Uh huh. Um, and now you can see the new link where they've done badges, and you can do to learn more about brownie badges. Use the oh. new badge explorer. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. So uh, now I'm going to do a trick, and I hope everybody knows this trick, but I'm right-clicking on this so I can open it in a new tab because I don't want to lose the tab that I'm working in with the VTK. So yeah. use a right this is a, and then Nice. Go. They've linked this both through the year plan library here, so you can get right into it. Mm -hmm. And then also it's in the resources tab. So nice. And this is just a great resource. It really is. Um, and for folks who haven't looked at it, um, you click the grade level. Say you work with cadets. Um, and you want to, and maybe even your girls want to focus on um, STEM, and they also want to focus on outdoors. And they're they're middle schoolers. They also want to focus on life skills. Um, and so it pulls up the badges that are at their level that apply to those topics, so that you can focus right on them. And I want to say, when you click on it, it gives you look at that. It gives you the five goals for the badge. Yeah, just in. Yeah. Nice synopsis, which I think is cool. And then the link, you can actually purchase the badge to the shops as well through that link. So. And you can see it opened a new window without my having to do the right-click trick on that, too. So, you know, oh, great, mm -hmm. I need six of them or however many for your troop. Isn't that a cute badge? And the, the cadet animal helpers, um, I know that the American Red Cross offers animal first aid, and I don't know if that's part of that badge or not because I have been away too long. It looks like it, doesn't it? Because they've yeah. got the cross, but I don't know. Yeah, I wonder if it even, it might even satisfy all of it, um, but you can check with your local yeah. Red Cross to see who's offering that, that <laughs> because my one of my kids took it and she loved it um, and ate it up, and I don't believe there was a badge associated with it like that at the time. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, what a cool, that's a great link, and you said that it's also available if you click on the resources tab. Mm-hmm. So and they've put a few right. things. They've kind of just reorganized the resources tab for now, and they are planning additional enhancements to that. Nice. So in um, January, probably we'll see they'll either do the enhancements or be checking in and kind of seeing what we think about them. But they want to add some new things to the resources tab and kind of redesign it. But for now, they've already added in these new, you can see the link to the Badge Explorer, and then also the outdoor journeys and badges right. and the new stem journeys and badges nice um yeah those resources are here now as well so that's yeah, helpful really terrific um the meeting overviews if i click on this is it just going to show me for brownie level since that's what we're in 
Was yes, it? they've changed the meeting overview so that they show by level. So if you were in the cadet troop, mm -hmm. um, you wouldn't see Any. those. Right. Although, actually, I'm curious if they added the PDFs of the STEM. So maybe we can check that out. Let's do um, resources, meeting overviews. They, it says the STEM. Nothing. So that's Good. it's just blinking. Yep. Try the STEM journey. STEM journey. Well, do they have the STEM journey or the outdoor journey? Ooh, what did they put? They oh. for all the levels. They don't have the Crazy. cadet one, even mm. though we're in the cadet troop, but they have the other levels of the, the cadet STEM one hasn't been rolled out yet. Right. Correct. Let's look so at when the, they do, uh, maybe they'll put it in there. Right. Well, because the cadet outdoor journey is here. They've got all six yeah. outdoor journeys when you click on Yep. It. So senior and ambassador. So that's a great resource, you know, for the troops that have seniors and ambassadors to be able to go into the VTK because there's not as much, you know, the program and the year plan is not really there for those troops. Right. But now those PDFs are in the resources so that they can just go in and get them right there. Right. And, you know, maybe something that we could get some older girl troops who are using the VTK to do with us sometime for one of these webinars is to tell us how the girls are, are breaking out the different activities into mm. um, year uh, into their weekly plans or their meeting plans because some grown-ups know how to do that and some grown-ups are not sure how to do it themselves and some grown-ups are not sure how to facilitate it so the girls are doing it because isn't that the goal that our, our teen mm -hmm. girls are really building their own meetings so um, so out there, if you're a teen troop leader who has an awesome time with your girls working in the volunteer toolkit, uh, give us a jingle so we can get you on <laughs> on audio and um, see some of your magic. That'd be awesome. But yeah, so just go, to go back to the year plan. Oh, come back, brownies. Which <laughs> I had forgotten I'd switched to uh, cadets. That was on me. That was not on the, the VTK, which is such a nice thing to say because Remember, it was blinking and doing all kinds of flashing mm -hmm. stuff, and it's not doing any of that now. It's so smooth. That's yes. really wonderful. Yeah. Um, and so just to refresh people, you can click on on the, the meeting, and it'll take you to the meeting plan um, and all of the little details. Did they do any tweaks with stuff in here, or is this pretty – it's pretty much the same as it was, right? I think a lot of that has stayed the same because mm -hmm. a lot of those enhancements were fixing things that just the things that weren't working. Right. Um, so a lot of the actual programming materials have stayed the same. If I were going to switch order, oh, look at how smooth that drag and drop was too. That's mm -hmm. nice. So mm -hmm. activity four or whatever, it's still going to have a four, but it would be later in the meeting than up here. I'm going to move it back because the numbers will bug me. Um, <laughs> no, it didn't let me. Here you go. There you are. Um, but that's nice to have that kind of flexibility here, too. So if the girls say, oh, yeah, we want to do all those things, but we want to do our leave no trace ceremony at the end. Um, and we want to whatever else they want to do. They can rearrange it and um, yeah. have a little more flexibility with it. Oops, got a little typo. Motley, Mutley. <laughs> the Mutley level troop. <laughs> it's a Mutley Mutley troop. Um, so cool. What else? What else? Do, we're not using the finance tab yet, right? Nope. So we are hoping to roll that out later, but we are currently not using that. Um, the other thing, it's kind of a small thing, but if you were to delete a meeting, mm -hmm. so you know, if you were in, let's go. Can you go into our Daisy demo troop? Yes. I'm not sure what we have in there for a year plan right now but I'm curious. Um, Daisy. Okay, so if you were in here and went to delete, let's see, can we go down further? Mm -hmm. Something that's a badge. So if you were to try to delete the March 15th meeting, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it will give you this warning here. Oop. I got no one. So, <laughs> yeah, in that message box, if you delete something now, there's a little warning that will tell you, you know, you're deleting a piece of their requirements, and so you may want to delete the corresponding badge meeting so it's not confusing. Oh, really? um, why didn't it give yeah. that warning then? It was there. It was in yellow. So if you try to delete March 1. Okay, let's do that. Um, and then leave the um, – Oh, I You should have a dialogue box. Yes. So right. right there, that's the warning. Yep. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, so just 
to go back and get that one so we don't freak people out. So do you remember <laughs> what it was? It was the um, pink one, oh. like fuchsia. Oh, okay. Um, let's go to add a meeting. <laughs> In case anybody's forgotten how to do this when it's something under badges and petals. Um, ha, ha, ha. It's not new ones. I don't know. I just want to see all of them. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm just going to click through because because I can. And I guess I know it's not the cookie business or entrepreneurship, but that's fine. A few meeting plans. And where are you, Fuchsia Petal? Oh, right up this Gloria Respect and Jerry Respect Authority. Yeah. Do we not have either of those? Well, I didn't see them that they were two together. But yeah. Um, I thought it was Fuchsia. Yeah. Or was yeah. it Tula, the courageous? We'll add both of them. And if they're yeah. redundancy, then we can remove one. <laughs> well, and there won't be because neither of those said already included in the plan. Right. So it should be okay. Yeah. Because let's just to show what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Um, oh, for heaven's sake. Badges and petals. All of them. <laughs> And I love it. It's great, dude. And I'm so lazy, you know. Oh, it's like George Jetson. I had such a long day at work. I had to <laughs> look at things. But you see, the ones that are already included in the year plan are already that you know that are already on the schedule are already there. So mm -hmm. as long as they didn't already have this next to them, then we they were fair game for us to add. So good, we got a yeah. we added back. I think it was Tula that I had deleted, but we got those the other two bonus all sorts of meeting opportunities. So um, now the trick is to go back and get get one of those that I just added and change the date to March 15th. So it goes back to where it was. Da, 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 da. Hey, show up friend, where are you? gonna happen I can feel it fresh <laughs> ah. okay one more time boom 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 save okay well it's gonna work it's not working right now but it's gonna work for you <laughs> yeah it'll come up yeah. um Let's see. I'm just going to peek at the other demo troops to see what's going on with them, but holler when you come upon something. That. Yeah. Yep. Well, one of the other things that they fixed is the, I don't know if anyone had noticed this, but prior to this recent enhancement, the scroll bars would disappear when you popped something up. So any pop-up windows like the meeting library filter, that kind of thing, this scroll bar would go away. So they have fixed that. So um, and I, like, what do you mean? Um, like if I did the research so, tab, there wouldn't be a scroll bar? Oh, but if this you is did, gone, so it doesn't need it. Um, if you went into, say, like in your year plan, mm -hmm. okay, and then you popped up that year plan uh, mm -hmm. library so you could uh -huh. see you can scroll through. Oh, right. The scroll Just bar the on the side was disappearing um, for people. And there are also some issues with the banners at the top um, where those tabs mm -hmm. would disappear, but oh. now they seem to stay all the time. So those are largely the enhancements that they've done that people will see. Um, then they did want us to let everybody know and had announced yesterday that, you know, the, it's best if you use this in Google Chrome, that's where it works the best. Right. Um, and there are currently glitches still happening. If you use it in internet Explorer, I believe that, um, the scroll bar, that kind of thing. And then the top tabs get a little wonky if you're in internet Explorer. So if you are experiencing issues with the VTK, make sure you're using Google Chrome. It's really just the optimal platform for it. 
Right. I, I had forgotten that you mentioned that yesterday, but yes. Um, and if you don't have Google Chrome on your computer, it's an easy thing. Just go to Google and uh, type in Google Chrome and it, it's a free download so that you can open mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So it's, it's really simple and straightforward. Um, yeah. I haven't heard anything one way or another about Firefox for folks who use that or for Safari. I know that it looks different in the mobile versions. So if you're using your yes. cell phone or your tablet, it's going to look different, but it still is functional. Just um, you may sh it may show up with lines over here and you can click on yeah. the lines and it gives you a pop out menu on the side. Um, and if you get stuck, you give a call and we can we can walk you through it. But once mm -hmm. you figure it out, it's it's a terrific little tool. It's a, a handy tool to have, especially for that communicating thing. I really appreciate the um, being able to send out. How do I get out? Of that? Yeah, um, being able to send out the reminders and things for true parents so that they know what's going on. I think it's a terrific way to help keep parents in the loop of what their girls are doing because not every kid goes home and talks about what they're doing. Mm -hmm. so, um, and they, yeah, these emails are great. There's also um, in the same behind this pop-up that part where you can record attendance. Right. Um, and I think, yeah, that it part is helpful well for yeah. us because we don't have an actual. We don't have any demo group, right? <laughs> but um, but if you do have girls in your troop, you can record attendance here and achievements just to keep track of who's earned what badges. Well, and doesn't the achievement happens almost automatically as you? Uh, I'm assuming um, that you have the list of the girls' names for their roster and a box for attendance and a box. Is it a separate box for achievement, or is there just the assumption that if she was there, then she completed the activity? I want to say that you can click a couple different things. I'm not sure though because we never see the girls. Right. Right. <laughs> um, let me see if I have an image of this. Because I don't remember seeing one in the webinar, um, the GSUSA webinar. And I was thinking um, with the even the demo site. Um, I don't know that we were able to see that. Yeah. So for folks out there who are service team supervisors uh, or ser service team members who want to use this to help new leaders, um, you can actually access this demo site. Just um, you know, let me know, or we can post it on the um, GSME service team. What you call it? What's it called? Service team network um, Facebook group. Mm -hmm. How to log into it because it lets you see both the troop leader and the um, parents view, so you have a sense of what parents see and. Does it show a troop? Oh, look at it does. How nice. So this is an example of uh, what the troop information is going to look like. And then let's mm -hmm. put your plan and. Um, it should be in here because they enhanced this demo site when they did the other ones as well. Right. Oh, I have to select a year plan. Um, OK, sure. That's great. Yes, select. And then look at this. And I want to see record attendance. Look at how nice that is. So yeah, there is the assumption mm -hmm. that if they attended, that they completed the activities. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, but nice. Yeah. So you get the I like. This is such a lovely name for a girl. Test G twenty. Beautiful. I've seen that before. Um, but how handy is that? So you don't have to worry about keeping records um, somewhere else because the records are right here mm -hmm. in your volunteer toolkit, and easy enough for uh, you to decide how many of which badges you need to get and who needs to do some makeup stuff. So just for giggles, let's look at the parent view on that one because for troop leaders, it's nice to know what your parents are seeing. Um, come on, friend. Ba, 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 ba. There it is, parent, the parents view. And we'll also do for brownies. And so the parents are going to be able to look at Think Like a Citizen, and they'll see the activities that are there. OK, can they see um, their own daughter? What can they see about her? Nope, only her information. And if they want to update her contact information or renew her, they can do that. That's nice. But they can't see what she's completed. So. Oh, no, they can't. Look at here. It'll say achievements and attendance. So it'll show what meetings <laughs> she's made and what she's accomplished. That's awesome. 
Because mm-hmm. that's so nice. Instant feedback for parents and for the girls. So super handy. And it's not like you as a troop leader have to go back in and add that stuff either. It's just a matter of punching it, punching it in on attendance. And your girls could punch in that attendance during the business part of the meeting, couldn't they? So, um, you know, add it to your caper chart mm-hmm. and suddenly that part's done. Yay. Yep. I'm liking it more and more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It gets better all the time. Yeah, which is very, very cool. Yep. So again, if you are a service team member or or an experienced leader who'd like to share volunteer toolkit, maybe you're one of our VTK champions out there, um, uh, let me know. I'll send you the VTK demo site login information so that you can share this and you don't you can share your own troops. Uh, VTK if you like, but this would be something if you didn't want to share your own troops, you could share this with other volunteers so they can see what um, what they can see and they can see what parents will see. And for me, that the, seeing the parent view was, was the happiest thing that I've done in a couple of days. So yay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Anything else? We're just about at that 30 minute mark for our recording, so I don't want to go too much longer, but oh look, there's a trefoil in the middle of the multi-level pinwheel. I never noticed that before. I never noticed that either. That's so That's cute. cute. A very cute little hmm. graphic. Um, and it just kind of dawned on me that those are the colors for the different levels too. Ooh, I'm quick. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy Brownie Jr. and Girl Scouts, yay. Um, so, yeah, if you, if um, you, Kate and Tammy, think of anything else with VTK, or if anybody out there thinks of questions or discoveries with Volunteer Toolkit, please share broadly on the Volunteer Swap and also um, email one of us, too, so that we can spread the word because none of us is in competition with each other on this. We are all collaborators yeah. in making the world a better place with Girl Scouts. So. Let's uh, maximize our use of these tools and we'll yeah. keep you posted if there are, as there are more updates. But yay, thanks for thanks for logging in, Kate. You were welcome. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to everybody who has um, who's watching. Uh, I hope you share your VTK stories with us as well as your other Girl Scout stories. Good to see you, Tammy. And have a great week, everybody. Oh, next week, we're going to be talking about World Thinking Day and global action. So log in next week for World Thinking Day and global action. Thanks.